So first grade for reading today, I want to review our new sticky notes for our book. So we're talking about going on reading adventures. We practiced a sneak peek for our new story. We talked about where the story is happening or the setting. We did some predictions yesterday about what's going to happen in chapter two. So I want to talk about what I did over break. Over break, I read a few books and I really enjoyed these books. But the thing that makes me super sad is that I forgot what they were about. And I think that I would have been able to figure out what they were about and remember it if I would have shared that with somebody. So today I want to talk about how the best way to remember a book forever is to share that information with somebody else. So how we can do that is through retelling the important parts of a story and you can also use sticky notes to mark your book. So if you want to be able to remember a book really well in your head and share that with somebody else, the best way is to mark the most important parts of the story and then retell that to somebody else. So our new sticky note says retell the important parts of the pages to remember and it says mark the pages. So you can see the sticky note right here on the page and we've practiced this before. So for my story on the board, I'm not going to put a sticky note on it because when I move the screen up, the sticky note's not going to go with it. So for today, I'm going to be underlining with my magic marker and then um, those are the parts that I would like for us to remember, okay? So before we go to chapter two, I'm gonna back up and start at the beginning and read. And then if there's something important that I think that I should mark, I want you guys to raise your hand and tell me which part of the story I should um, mark with a sticky note, but in this case, my marker, because that is an important thing that I could retell to somebody else. So we're gonna go back up to chapter one and I'll start writing. I'm gonna check my screen to see who is raising their hand and that wants to help me with underlining an important part. That's going to really help me understand the story even better. Okay, so chapter one, the aquarium. One day, Iris's teacher, Miss Cherry, had an exciting announcement. This Friday, we're going on a field trip to the aquarium. The aquarium, said Iris's best friend, Walter. Oh boy, Jose, you're raising your hand. Is there an important part here that I should underline so I can remember it, so I can share that with somebody else? Oh boy. Oh boy. What's the important part of oh boy? Oh. So is this part, is this a part of the story that tells mostly about this page? Explain the, the, explain the point. The exclamation mark? Uh -huh. So, Jose, somebody is really excited about something on this page. Why are they excited? Because they're going to the aquarium. They're going on a, they're going to the aquarium and they're going on a field trip. trip. So, somebody's excited. That's something that I want to share with somebody. So let's underline that. And then I also want to underline where they're going because I feel like that's an important part of the story. So going on a field trip to the aquarium. Jose, who's going on the field trip? All of the class, mm -hmm. the whole class. Mm -hmm. And then our- And the teacher. And the teacher. So. Three important people on this page are going on the field trip. We have Iris, Miss Cherry, and Walter. So if I wanted to retell this page to somebody to help me remember the story better, I might say Iris, Miss Cherry, and Walter are going on a field trip to the aquarium. 
That's called a summary. We put the important parts of the information together and I can share that information with somebody to help me remember and to help them understand the story. Great job, Jose. All right. I'm gonna go to the next page and I'm gonna be watching the screen. If there's something else important, tell me and I'll underline it. Are we going to see the sharks? Asked Benny. Are we going to see the penguins? Asked Iris. Are we going to see the starfish? Asked Jenny. All right, anything important on this page? I'm looking for a hand raised. Okay, bracket. What is something important that I can take from this page and underline it so that I can share it with somebody? Go ahead, Bracket. Your microphone's unmuted. Um, are we going to see the sharks? Sharks. Okay. Going to see the sharks. Anything else that I could share about this page? Maybe ask Benny. Ask Benny. Okay. All right. So when I'm looking at this page, boys and girls, and if somebody said, well, what's your story about so far? I would know to retell the story by saying, okay, these are the main characters, Walter and Iris. Is that right? Is that her name? Iris. And they're going on a field trip to an aquarium. Somebody else might ask me, oh, well, what's at the aquarium? Sharks, penguins, and starfish. And then Brackett pointed out something really cool. He noticed that there, we're introducing even more characters to our story. So we have Benny, and then we already know Iris, but Jenny is also new. So as you are going through your stories, boys and girls, you can take sticky notes and you can put them in your books when you see important information. Because the saddest thing ever is just reading a story and then not remembering what any of it's about. If you are able to share this important part of the story with somebody else, it's going to help you remember that story. Let's do one more page. I'll read through this page, but then I want to go to the next one that has more words so we can examine it. We are all going to see many wonderful things, said Miss Cherry. So they're going to see all of those animals they talked about earlier and even more. That night, Walter had supper at Iris's house. Our class is going on a field trip, Rosie, said Iris. Up, said Baby Rose. What could I take from this page? It could be just one word or it could be a couple of words. Cadence, what do you think? What could I take from this page? I'll read it one more time. That night, Walter had supper at Iris's house. Our class is going on a field trip, Rosie, said Iris. Up, said Baby Rose. Uh, So the names are important again, right? We have another character in our story. And I see here that the name is Rosie, and down here it says Baby Rose. I bet that's the same person. So we can remember our characters and that they're going on a field trip. 
So if we ever forget what our book is about, we can always go back and underline those important parts. Now, before we go to chapter two. Oh, that's okay. Sometimes people go to the other Zoom links and they forget to leave this one, but that's okay. As long as they make it to their group. So, we're going to be doing three things here as we go to chapter two. We're going to figure out where the setting is, predict what's going to happen, and then underline some parts of the story to help us retell important information to somebody else. So, I'm going to go down to chapter two the bus ride. Ooh, there's a lot of words here. I bet we can find some good information to underline. On Friday morning, Miss Cherry said, we are very lucky to have Jenny's mother come on the field trip with us today. Jenny gave her mother a big hug. I know we are going to have a great time, said Miss Cherry. So as I look at this page, I'm thinking about who's going and who's talking in the story. So who is the character that's going to join them on the field trip? Who's going with them? Uh, Liam, can you tell me who's going with them? Can you hear me, Liam? All right, Sophia, who's joining them on the field trip? Jenny's mom. Jenny's mom. Sophia, thank you so much for being ready to go. That is showing me how responsible you're being. Jenny's Underline it. Exactly. Jenny's mother is joining them, and we still know that they're going on the field trip to the aquarium. Now take a look here. On the field trip with us today. So we know that when we are looking at this part, keep track of where and when. We know they are going on their field trip today. Okay? So they're getting on the bus, and I know that because this chapter says the bus ride. And I can see they gave us a sneak peek here that they're getting on the bus. Yeah, yeah I said that yesterday also. Aren't, isn't it cool? The bus. Yeah. It's so cool that these stories are really helping us understand information and they're giving us all of these clues to help us understand the story even more. I bet that's Jenny's mom right there talking to the teacher. So if we go back here, we know that this is the teacher. So we can look here. There's the teacher, and that must be Jenny's mom going with them, right? Because she's too, she's, she looks too much like a grown-up to be one of the students, so she must be the mom. All right, one more page. I'm going to call on another student to help me underline some important things, and then we will leave page 17 for tomorrow. Now let's go over the rules. Remember, pay attention. Hang on to your partner, stay with the group, and if you get lost, stay where you are and I will find you, said Miss Cherry. Okay, there's some important pieces on this page, but the big, the big idea, or what it's mostly about, is what? Kaya, can you help us out? What are they mostly talking about here? Can you hear me, Kaya? I don't, I don't know, know what it said. Do you want me to read it again?
I'll, yeah. I'll read it again, okay? And if you hear something that you think I should underline because it's important, I want you to tell me. It says, now let's go over the rules. Remember, pay attention, hang on to your partner, stay with the group, and if you get lost, stay where you are and I will find you, said Miss Cherry. So why is she telling them this stuff, Kaya? So they don't eat, so they don't get lost more? Exactly. So the big idea of this page is that the rules will help them so they don't get lost. Okay? So she's so the teacher, we should probably underline the teacher too. Miss Cherry is saying, here are the rules, and if you get lost, stay where I can see you. So those are the big important parts of this page that I want to remember, and it's going to help me understand the story even more if I go back and read it again and underline it or mark it with sticky notes. Okay? All right, we're going to stop right there.